We'll begin by showing you how to glaze a side-only casement window. First, ensure that the frame and surrounding areas are clean from any brick dust or debris before starting to fit the glazing. Ensure that you use the correct linear glazing platforms and that they are fitted around the opening before you begin glazing the frame. Linear glazing platforms clip easily into place and don't slide out. It's important to note that installers using non-linear glazing platforms are likely to experience difficulties as the glass won't slide in easily and could potentially get stuck. Note that where opening casements are hinged from the side, they need to be towed and heeled, which means the glass is packed at diagonally opposing corners, at the bottom on the hinge side and top on the handle side, holding the casement square. Once the platforms are in position, we can now insert the glass. You may find that the pane won't go in tight to the corner because all of the weight is going down, but by forcing it past the packers, the opening sash will be lifted upwards so all the weight of the glass is fully supported. If it is required to lift the sash more, one millimeter shim packers can be inserted between the glass and the glazing platform at the top. Once the glass is in place, you can now fit the beads. To help you locate the beads, spray around the edge of the unit with glass cleaner. Always start with the smaller beads first. Because the gaskets on the edge are quite dry, this lubrication helps the bead to slot into place easier. Locate the back of the bead into the groove and then just tap it into place. Hit right on the edge where the bead meets the edge of the frame. Once the two smaller beads are fitted, you now have two points of location. Starting on one side, simply push the bead into place until the mitre joins at the top and then the same at the bottom. Then tap it in working your way down from top to bottom. Because of the force used to knock in the beads, it's recommended opening the window and giving a tap on the outer frame, particularly on the two long sides, to ensure that the glass is square and in place with no distortion. The same method is used when fitting fixed panes, but there is no need to toe and heel because they aren't designed to move. Apply support packers at the bottom of the frame, then square the glass into the opening so it's nice and even. Platform packers can be used if needed, lifting the glass by one millimeter. The same method is used to glaze or deglaze a linear window, whether using 28 millimeter or 36 millimeter beads. And this also applies to linear's flush sash and patio door beads.